Hello, I'm Casual K for Beats Power, and today we're going to take a look at something called the Chord Progression Tool. This is a script that's available for your piano roll in FL Studio 21.1. You will need an um, image line account, so you have to have a legitimate version of FL Studio. And after you download it and, and install it, I'm going to show you how to use it. But I want to, what I'm going to do first, let's close this down. I want to play a piano, I'm sorry, I'm going to play a chord progression and then try to recreate that chord progression with the tool and see if this is useful or something that's worth downloading. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play in a one, four, five, one chord progression. Um, and I'll play you the, the four and the five and second inversion to keep it close together. All right, so let's do this. No bass notes. So that's the way I would play this. Actually, my finger got a little light there, so let's up that up. All right, so I'm not going to quantize that or anything. Everything looks fairly decent, and it's humanized. So this is the way I would play this chord progression. Like I said, I didn't add the bass notes in because when I was looking at this tool, let me do this. We're going to play this. We're going to recreate it over here. Make this unique. Delete that. And um, so when I was looking at this tool, I didn't see a way to add the bass notes, so I didn't play bass notes just now. I might be wrong. Let me take a quick look at this real fast. Let's reset this. See, this is nice. This drum is nice. Yeah, I don't really see... Oh, bass notes. Wow, okay. This is interesting. Okay, so right, now let's recreate what I just played. All right, so we're going to be in F minor. So we have F, natural minor, L, um, output is going to be four bars, that's fine. The first chord is going to be the one, that's fine. And that's going to be in brute formation. All right, so our second chord is going to be the four. Um, we need this in second inversion, and we need to lower this down one octave. Yeah, that's good. All right, now our third chord is going to be the five second inversion also. And we also need to lower this down an octave. That looks good. And then our fourth chord was back to the one. We played that in the root position, and that's fine. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and hit accept. And we're going to compare the two. So the, this is what I just did with the chord regression tool here. And this is what I played originally. So as you can see, they're very, very similar. I, I have no problem with this because you can actually go in. And I didn't do it. I didn't strum. I didn't, um, you know, do a little offsets. I didn't humanize, which is nice. I didn't add the bass notes. But those options are all there. Now, of course, it's going to be more time consuming to do it with this tool. But if you don't know how to play the piano, this is an excellent, excellent addition. And shout out to FL Studio for allowing scripting inside of FL Studio. This is this is a nice tool. Um, you can make up your own minds on the, if you want to use it or not. But I'm Casual K. Y'all have a nice day.